Hello. Today we'll be looking at our notification pop-up application called Print Client. Print Client can be installed on any Windows 7, 8, or Windows 10 workstation. And it basically is a dumb application. It sits there and it waits for a notification from your print server or from the machine acting as your print server to send it a message to pop up on the screen. In the case we'll be looking at this Windows Server, you'll notice down here in the, in the uh, tray is a little tree. If you click on the tree, it will give you data uh, about that user. Uh, concurrently, if you're on a Mac, which we'll look up here, there's also a tree. And here you can look up balance information and it'll pop up as well. Uh, both of these applications can be downloaded from our support page under Print Manager Plus and then look at documentations and downloads and you can actually uh, download these and install them directly on your Mac or your uh, Windows workstation. Uh, the product can also do a silent install that can be set up via the full uh, uh, product download uh, and you can actually create uh, a silent install to uh, push out to your network. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Um, the pop-up applies pretty much everything you can do on Print Manager Plus, whether you're setting a quota, um, if you set a quota on a user group or an organizational unit, uh, you can send pop-ups uh, if they uh, have insufficient balance, you can send a pop-up or an email, also low balance action, you can send a pop-up as well. Uh, any kind of restriction that you set uh, on a user group or organizational unit or printer. Again, you can also send a pop-up here and or an email. All right, so let's try this out. Um, for now, what we're going to do, we'll go to printers. If we double-click a printer here, and the pop-ups also apply to confirmation. There's different confirmation settings you can do. Um, if you go through uh, your printer section, you can do a confirmation pop-up, a password uh, confirmation using their AD or local password, or full authentication, uh, which would require a username and a password to be put in within the pop-up when someone prints. And, and what these do is they actually pause the print job in the print queue and wait for that confirmation, and then it unpauses and prints the job. If nothing happens, uh, if there's, for instance, if there's no print client running, you can delete the job, pause the job, allow the job, or hold the job um, on for that workstation. Uh, if a user doesn't respond in a specified amount of time, you can also uh, delete the job or allow it and so on. And here's your timer here. So how many minutes do they have to respond? Uh, in this case, what we'll do here is we'll just put on a simple confirmation. We'll click OK here. Uh, it's for this printer right here, and then we'll just print something. In this case, we'll just pull up a uh, a simple uh, text file. We'll go ahead and print it to that printer, and you'll receive a confirmation pop-up. These can also be opened up to show what printer was printed to, how many pages, copies, uh, how much it's the job is worth, and any kind of quota up here that the user may have. Um, you'll notice down here under printers, which we'll take a look at, and these pop-ups stay on top of the other windows, so the user sees it. Um, but we'll take a look at what's printing here. And you'll notice that here's the job right here. It is paused. We'll go ahead and click submit here, and you'll watch it unpause. And you'll also get a tray pop-up here as well. Now this tray pop-up is kind of nice. If you're not doing... Uh, you know any kind of pop-up you can just you can actually only set it to pop up the tray so we go to print client options here um, you can here you can say what you want to be on that little tray pop-up uh, so if you don't want to do any kind of confirmation you can at least have the tray pop up by itself uh, other features uh, that you can push out to the print client you can accept print client dialogues on the enter key so it basically makes the enter key a hotkey once they select see a client code or put in their username and password, they can just hit enter. And it'll uh, <clears throat> submit the uh, job for printing. 
allow print client exit by end user. So you can basically, uh, if you right click on this, this exit right here on the tray, uh, the user won't be able to exit the application. Um, if we show print client and attach tray all together, which is for Windows only, uh, it'll actually not show the tree in here at all. Uh, but it will pop up that little uh, square box with the user information in it as well. So let's click OK here, and we'll turn off the confirmation. So there's no confirmation. It's just allowing them to print, essentially. And then we'll go ahead and we'll print this document again. And you'll notice now it just pops up here. The job is already printed, but it does pop up and show data for the user. All right, so let's go to the Mac. We'll print something for the Mac. Um, here we don't have a pop-up, but it's just showing the tray information. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll select the printer on the server. We'll click Print. And you'll notice uh, the tray will pop up now with the data uh, from the user that the Mac's logged in as through AD. Now, if we were to do confirmation, we turn that back on here. And we'll turn on confirmation, click OK. And we'll go ahead and print the document again. And now we'll get an actual pop-up on the Mac itself, uh, which looks similar to what you would get in Windows as well. Again, there's the job. You can print it. Uh, if we go ahead and look at uh, what we're getting on the server here, you'll notice here's the job. It's paused. It's coming from a Mac. Go back here. We'll select print, and you'll notice it'll unpause and print the document. And then again, it shows this pop-up as well in the tray. So there you have it. I mean, this is our, our, our pop-up area. Uh, this is how the print client works. Uh, there's obviously a lot of other variables with this. It obviously is also used with uh, client billing. Uh, so if we select a printer, uh, turn this confirmation off, we put on web uh, client billing. Here again, it will show the pop-up. Uh, this time showing all of the uh, client information needs to be entered, or even by pin code here. Uh, for the web portal, you'll get a pop-up for hold all print jobs for the web. Again, this will pop up. Uh, telling the user that they need to go release the job through our online release station. Um, and, and the pop-up can be used in combinations as well. So you could actually set you know, full authentication and then require a confirmation even after that. Uh, or you could set a confirmation, plus you could do you know, a client billing. So they'll have to fill out all this data, click Submit, uh, and then confirm that that's actually going to be for that client. Uh, you could do client billing, and you could also turn on full authentication as well here. So they would have to put in a username and password uh, on top of all their client billing information to re-authenticate the job altogether. What's nice about this can be used with you know Active Directory users. Uh, it can be used with LDAP, obviously, and also just local Print Manager Plus users that you can set up on the fly through Print Manager Plus uh, through your Users tab. So you could create a local user here, and it'll affect that local user in the same way. And that's great for, obviously, work groups, uh, or even printing through the Mac as well, uh, if you don't have AD authentication. All right, well, there you have it. That's our, our print client application. Um, you know, you should definitely load it up and take a look at it. It's uh, very helpful for the user to be able to see what's going on. Uh, and obviously, if they hit a restriction or a quota or a low balance on their quota, uh, or just doing straight confirmations. Um, it at least tells them what's going on with their print jobs. All right. Thank you very much for your time.